Whoa, hey there. It's me, LeBron James, with TarverAcademy.com. Sorry my hands all up in your business, but here we are. Uh, I know I look like um, like a tool wearing sunglasses and this, but it's where we are. Uh, here's where we are and where we are. Enough of that talk. Let's get to how to interview and get a job. Okay, so I want to talk to you about how to answer the question for what is your greatest weakness, okay? Do not say time management. Do not say uh, classroom management. Don't say, well, uh, sometimes I'm not prepared or sometimes I don't get in. Sometimes the paperwork's hard. That's not good. Don't say that. Don't say that if that's something you're working on, definitely work on it, but you don't have to tell somebody in the interview unless it's something they need to know that they're going to be concerned with. Because if I hear somebody's like, well, um, sometimes I have trouble with my classroom management, I'm going to hear, well, that's a lot of work that I have to do as an administrator to help you get better. When I'd rather you just kind of be good at it when you come in, okay? Now, if you know you're weak in it, once you get hired, I would definitely work on it because you don't want to lie. But it is something that you need to uh, to think about when you answer an interview. Because the interview, you're really just giving somebody a glimpse of like, like a 30-minute glimpse into you and you do kind of want to bring your best stuff forward. You don't want to talk about all the bad stuff you got. Because unless you obviously work at the district, then they already know all the bad stuff you got. Because they've seen you for years. So what I recommend, whenever they ask, what is your greatest weakness? If you are a beginning teacher, this is your first year teaching, you have the perfect answer. The perfect answer, what's your greatest weakness? Well, honestly, my weakness right now is that I just don't have that full-on classroom experience where I'm the main teacher. I've student taught and I loved it and I think I'll do great and I know I'll do great. I would say I think I'll do, say I know I'll do great. I know I'm going to do great whenever I get my own classroom, but I just don't have that full year experience and I know I can get there if you guys will hire me and let me get those years of experience. Now, if it's not your first year teaching um, and they ask you what your greatest weakness is, whatever you say Make it light. Make it something that, that, you know, don't be like, well, my greatest weakness is that I care too much. Sorry, somebody called and interrupted. So, if you have been teaching, I would, if it's something that's on your, your resume that shows as a weakness, I would address that. But if it's not on your resume, they, they ask you, genuinely ask you the question, just say, a lot of times I focus too hard on getting things right. It's best to have your weakness be a perfectionist. Now, if it's not your weakness or it's not anywhere close to your personality, don't say it. But that's the best answer you can say if you've been teaching. Um, if you haven't been teaching, your greatest weakness is you just haven't had your own class yet. You've had to do things based on whatever your like lead teacher wants. And you have to kind of lead their class how they want it led as opposed to it being your class. It's pretty good. Did you like that? Yeah. It's because it was baller. I know. Fire people. Right here. All right. Please subscribe and check out more of my How to Get a Job series by going to TurnerAcademy.com. Peace.